The beautiful city of Chelyabinsk, apart from being my personal hometown and the seventh largest city in Russia, is also pretty much known as a massive meme. For example, we literally had a meteor from space crash over our city in 2013, and also our region of Russia had a nuclear accident in the 1950s, way before Chernobyl made it cool. And even among Russians, Chelyabinsk is basically considered to be a giant meme of a city. And guess what guys, now we can add one more point to that because my beautiful hometown of Chelyabinsk ended up being featured in the newest season of Family Guy. Chelyabinsk actually appears in two episodes in which Meg, Brian and Stewie go to Russia to apparently search for an Instagram hacker who hacked Brian's Instagram accounts. And obviously guys, being Russian myself, being literally from the city which these Family Guy episodes take place in, I just have to make a reaction to this. Especially considering that the stuff that I've seen from these episodes online actually is uh, sort of satirical and critical of modern Russia in the year 2023. In fact, apparently Family Guy's satire hit so hard that one of the members of the Russian state Zuma actually proposed to ban this Chelyabinsk episode of Family Guy in Russia because, quote unquote, such cartoons are a deliberate work that is aimed against our country. It's an informational war through works of ours. The West is liberally creating an image of Russia as a country where everybody is unhappy with life, everybody drinks, everybody takes drugs, and everybody takes bribes. <laughs> I mean... Anyways, what's up everybody? It is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. How you guys doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. And in today's video, I, a Russian from Chelyabinsk, am going to be reacting to the Family Guy episode that takes place in Chelyabinsk, Russia. And uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And before we really get into it, I just wanna say, believe it or not guys, I do not make these videos for fun. I'm doing these to make a living, okay? And the thing about this video is I'm gonna be reacting to copyrighted content, Family Guy, it's a cartoon, etc. And essentially there's a huge chance that this video is gonna get copyright claims, so I wanna use this opportunity to show for myself. If you wanna support this channel, then go over to link down in the description, become a YouTube member. It's basically YouTube's own version of Patreon, where you can donate to me monthly, it's the best way to support me. You can also do a super thanks underneath this video. And yeah, now that that's out of the way, let's watch some Family Guy funny moments. No, I'm just trying to find a guy who hacked my Instagram account. I can also help with that. I don't know how you're gonna find- That's in Russia. Вы можете забрать девочку из Новосибирск. Ну! Вы не можете забрать Новосибирск от девочки. How do you know how to speak Russian? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, guys. I need to come clean right now. I really have not watched a lot of Family Guy in my lifetime. It's a show that was aired in Russia. In Russian, Family Guy is called Griffiny, which basically literally means the Griffins, because I guess in Russia they wanted to make people want to watch the show by sort of making people think that it's like from the creators of The Simpsons. And I've seen it, but I've never really watched it. I have seen a lot of Family Guy clips in my life. Where'd you go, my little pumpkin eater? I hate... Some of them may be altered. <laughs> but anyway, I actually didn't know that Meg Griffin was voiced by Mila Kunis. And Mila Kunis is actually an American actress of Ukrainian descent, and she speaks Russian, actually, and she's actually spoken on multiple talk shows before, so it's definitely better than if somebody who didn't speak Russian at all was trying to speak it, you know? Yep, just what I thought. Chelyabinsk. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> you gotta move fast in this world, bro. So, are we gonna go find this guy or what? All right, looks like we're going to Russia. Russia? We can't go there, they're at war with Ukraine! They are? Whoa, crazy. I say <laughs> Most politically aware American, by the way. <laughs> Man, I wonder why they picked Chilabin specifically for this joke. It's a big city, but it's not the most famous or not the most obvious city to pick, you know? This is the best. This is, I mean, one thing about Family Guy that I know or that I've heard of, they don't care about making racist jokes, they don't care about making insensitive jokes about different cultures, so I just want to say the people in, like, the governments that want to ban this, stop being such a snowflake, like, literally, and just realize that Family Guy takes the piss out of everybody equally. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Yes, this haircut is just so good. It's like something we in Russian would describe as like cholka, which is this exact type of haircut where they basically pretty much make you bald, but then leave this like terrible bangs on your forehead. And it's just like the most outdated sort of gopnik type of haircut. Here for business or displeasure? We're here to find the hacker that stole your Instagram. Yes. Enjoy 10 square kilometer of country that don't make Geiger counter go beep, beep, beep. <laughs> hey! <laughs> It's that way. Story of my life, honestly. Shilabinsk is a very polluted city, so... <laughs> okay, look. Let's just watch this and then I'll comment. Shilabinsk <laughs> Heights. Classic Russian place name, you know? I love the Martin Luther King Drive in Shilabinsk as well. Hey, you guys, this is exciting. I'm reading about Chelyabinsk, and if it's not too much trouble, I'd love to swing by Kuznetsov's tea packing factory. 
It was built in 1898 and briefly popularized the phrase, have a cup of cools. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you're no fun. What's so surreal is that this is like a real thing. This is like a real building in Chilebins. This is what it looks like. And yes, it is the former uh, sea packing factory Kuznetsov. Which is funny because this depiction of Russia here, the depiction of Chilebinsk is, you know, very campy. It's making fun of Russia, I guess. But they've actually done their research and they've like actually Googled real historical facts about Chilebinsk to put in this. So that's like kind of cool in my opinion. Here's the thing. A lot of Russians online got pretty mad at this because, you know, saying, no, once again, the evil West is smearing us. Chilebinsk doesn't look like that. Chilebinsk, Chilebinsku Rozi, you know? There's some areas in Chilebinsk which look like, you know, pretty metropolitan and pretty nice. And there's areas where I grew up, uh, I have this distinct memory, by the way. I think I was like in fourth grade back then, so this was 2008. Basically, to go to school, I could take a shorter route and go through like a district that was directly right next to where I lived. I lived like in a Kami block. And there was a district where it wasn't Kami blocks, but it was like proper houses. And the thing is, I remember when I was walking through those roads in that like suburb neighborhood, it would literally smell like piss and shit all the time because a lot of houses there did not have proper sewage systems so people would literally throw out the piss and shit onto the streets this was in 2008 okay <laughs> and more or less like you know it pretty much looked kind of like this except this actually like looks more developed than what i had to walk through <laughs> on my way to school so uh yes this is a gloomy depiction of russia but like you really don't have to walk that far to find an area like this in a lot of russian cities if i'm gonna be completely honest did you know Chelyabinsk is known as the Chicago of the Urals? I'm <laughs> Yeah, that's also kind of true because Chilebinsk and Chicago are both like industrial cities. I guess another similarity would be, you know, the crime rate. <laughs> Just kidding, the crime rate in Chicago is way worse than Chilebinsk and it's not even close. But yeah, very true. We even have a meme in Chilebinsk where we call Chilebinsk Chikagitsk. That's real. <laughs> Me as fuck. Don't nada. Let me handle this. At the Brian Griffin. To Kralevo Instagram? Da. I sorry, I also conveniently speak a little English. Come in, I explain over <laughs> cup of coos. Oh, jackpot! Now here's again a good example, to be honest, of Mila Kunis's very American Russian, but Meg is not Russian, so I think it fits the character. First I must know, is it true in America there's a man named Cedric who entertains? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. So Brian Gr <laughs> This is pretty good, man. I don't know. I think I think we should stop watching Family Guy, to be honest. Is this beautiful American wife? Me? No. I'm not married. You are like big, beautiful nesting doll that holds other dolls inside. You really mean that? Da. I only stole account because it made me feel like I was living happy American life of big writer man. He has five followers. I have nobody and nothing to live for. Mood. Mood as fuck. <laughs> also, I do like the uh, the rug on the wall. That is a very Soviet, very, you know, Russian touch. Sorry, guys, lights on. My apartment also burnt. This temporary. I lived in puddle for a while, but sun dried up my house. I yell at sun, give it back! But it never does. That is why every day I wake up and shoot single bullet at sun. I would say the only unrealistic part is uh, him being able to shoot at the sun because Russia has like no gun rights, so... <laughs> I can't go back home. What? You're staying in Russia? <laughs> this is a country where female body hair is encouraged. Where I can eat root vegetables straight from the ground without being placed under an involuntary psychiatric hold. Well guys, I guess Meg is now Z because uh, she's one of those Westerners that moves to Russia and uh, thinks Russia is the best country in the world, so... Uh, <laughs> and the next episode actually shows her life in Russia, so let's check out that as well. This is already good. This is already pretty, you know, resembling of Chilebinsk because our city is just so polluted. I've literally been told this to my face many times when people from other cities came to Chilebinsk. They always told me, like, your city smells like shit. And I was always like, man, I don't feel it because I've been living here for 24 years, you know? I'm already a Chernobyl mutant at this point, right? The houses being this dilapidated, though, I think it's more like a Karabash, like the most polluted town in Russia, which me and Bolden and Bankrupt visited years ago. And coincidentally, of course, the most polluted town in Russia is also in the Chilebinsk region. <laughs> this kind of feels to me like more of a Karabash, but uh, I'll let it slide. <laughs> this old town, this old crumbling village, cold and gray like the town next door. It's so bleak, but to me it's perfect. I, I like how Meg basically turned into a... Uh, this is like, this is basically Disney. <laughs> This is Anastasia 2. Especially when we <laughs> This 
this is one of those like uh stop feeling so down just go outside and you know <laughs> you, you'll feel better meanwhile the outside story of my fucking life guys what can i say Privyet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've already seen this. Uh, yeah, I mean, what can I say? This is like pretty realistic of what is actually happening. I mean, there's actually been multiple stories recently in Russia where people have been actually arrested for uh, wearing the colors yellow and blue together. So some guy in Russia apparently got detained and actually fined for discrediting the Russian armed forces for wearing a blue and yellow jacket. So, uh, and if a person would actually try to come out with a Ukrainian flag on the street like this, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be just a fine. They would probably start a whole ass criminal case against the guy and put him in prison for like 10 years. So, uh, and you guys are wondering why I'm so depressed. There goes the onion man. He smells like heaven. Already drunk at 9.15. Though the air is bitter cold. This is like, uh, the way that everybody, everybody's dressed, it's like, essentially according to Family Guy, Chelyabinsk is like, the USSR in like 1985. <laughs> Just the way everybody's dressed, it's like, it's literally 1985, like. Brief, yeah. Have a great day at work, space dog. <laughs> Damn. There goes that Meg, she is so dense and sturdy, pumped out for winter like a seal. Apparently Gopniks have a certain fascination with Meg and uh, <laughs> just the way she looks. And I'm not gonna lie, like the way Meg is dressed right now, I don't know, I've seen a lot of couples walking around like, looking like this, where the man basically looks like one of these. <laughs> And the girl looks like these and like, you know, they're pushing like a baby stroller and smoking a cigarette and drinking beer at the same time. Or just watching their babies play at like a shitty playground while smoking cigarettes and drinking beer. So, uh, yet again, look at exactly like this. So, once again, it's pretty realistic. And she's only just 18. The exact same age as me. <laughs> so pale and plain and homely, that's our name. I like the, uh, I like the statue of Putin on their horse. <laughs> Average day in Chilebins, guys, what can I say? <laughs> Again, like, some places in Chilebins that I've been to, you know, some pictures you can see online. I wouldn't say this is, like, that far off, like, to be honest. I also very much like how they use, like, the only car that is available in Russia is also the Lada, which is great, you know, adds to the atmosphere. Man, I miss American food. <clears throat> hey! <laughs> now that is the most unrealistic thing I've seen in these episodes yet. She opens Instagram in Russia. I'll have you guys know that Russia actually banned Instagram over a year ago. And Instagram and Facebook and Meta are actually considered like extremist organizations right now in Russia. And Instagram in Russia does not work without a VPN. Shit, man, I wish I had a VPN integration in this video. That would be like a perfect segue. <laughs> but yeah, Instagram doesn't work in Russia without a VPN, so... This is slander on Russia. But every once in a while... I sure could go for a good old-fashioned American cheeseburger. Oh, <laughs> boy, what happened? Was as well, Buchanka. I mean, come on. The cars in this episode are great. President Putin will not tolerate even the mildest of criticism. <laughs> you need to drive slower, man. I don't think he heard the end of my threat. Uh, well, maybe your threat should be more succinct. So Meg basically got uh, the KGB treatments because she said that uh, Russian food is worse than American food. Not far-fetched from what could happen today, you know, quite honestly. <laughs> Once again, hospitals in a lot of regions of Russia are, like, pretty shitty. I've had my experience with a Soviet hospital in my life, and uh, it wasn't, like, as bad as this, but it was in Norway. What happened? Everyone here was silenced by state for careless social media post. You mean that thing I said about... <laughs> Me. Government is very strict about criticism of Russian way of life. It's true. You see, President Putin can be very sensitive. <laughs> Meg, I am so happy you... <laughs> Again, guys, story of my life. God, this hospital bill is gonna be a fortune. What? It's free! Even in Russia, healthcare is basic human right covered by government. Surely the same in very wealthy, superior United <laughs> States. Well... Very, very true. And actually, when people always ask me if I would like to live in America, I think healthcare is like a big deal breaker for me. I understand, yes, healthcare is better than Russia, but I have been to governmental hospitals quite a few times in my life, never had to pay a single penny, so Russia's really good in that regard. America, <laughs> my home. This is 
is precisely why I'm saying that, you know, people getting offended by this are just completely unaware of what, like, Family Guy is doing, because, in a way, Family Guy takes the piss out of America all the time in every single episode, so, like, you can't handle one episode where they make fun of Russia, you know? If your country is that strong and beautiful and, you know, unbreakable, then some cartoon episode is not gonna destroy your country. Russia itself is doing just fine in that regard, you know? And in that moment, I realized I never want us to be apart. Meg, will you marry me? <laughs> I do not have much to give, but I do have mother's engagement ring. Bruh, green card fucking secured. <laughs> Atta boy. Atta boy. That's all I gotta say. I don't know why I'm not doing the same thing, to be honest. I'm a fucking moron. Amen. Amen. I now pronounce Ukraine actually part of Russia. And I also pronounce you husband and wife. You may share a joyless kiss. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think the Ukraine joke in this concept is kind of lazy, but I'm no comedy expert, but uh, I'm enjoying this overall. I want more episodes of Family Guy in Russia now, to be honest. <laughs> well, I managed to upgrade us to President for Life Suite. Window is so big you could shove six, seven journalists out all at once. Eh. Kind of a Reddit joke, to be honest. You know how people say that... <laughs> People always say that, like, like anti-SGW edgelords and, like, you know, transphobes kind of have one joke, you know, about the attack helicopter. Like, you identify as a woman, haha, <laughs> now I can identify as an attack helicopter. What you gotta say to that? But the thing is, a lot of Westerners kind of have, like, one joke about Russia as well, which is, uh... Well, they have two jokes. It's either, uh, you're about to die by with, you know, two shots in the back of the heads or whatever. And the second joke is, you know, oh, dude, you know, watch out uh, of windows and balconies or whatever and stuff like that. These are comments I'm getting all the time, by the way. I'm not even trying to overstate this. It's probably thousands of them that I've got at this point, and uh, it's kind of getting old, so uh, yeah, I suggest you guys come up with a third joke about Russia and what Russia does to dissidents, but uh, yeah, this is rather trite, in my opinion. Perhaps you miss your family, no? Yeah. I mean, I love it here, but I'm sad they missed my wedding. Hey, I have idea. Why don't we visit family in America? They can celebrate our wedding and say a proper farewell. Ah, so you got green card marriage, huh? <laughs> That's right. American cow fell for it. Here's to my last night in Russia. <laughs> Base, bro. Cheers. <laughs> Look, I mean, I'm like not a Russian chauvinist or imperialist or anything like that, or at least I'd like to think that I'm not, but uh, the idea of a Russian guy defrauding like a privileged American to get a green card and to move there is pretty funny to me, and it's like, <laughs> you know, I'm an anti-Putin lit star and all that, but like, deep down I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm admitting it. So, uh, American girls, watch out for these Russian men, you never know what they're plotting on you. <laughs> oh my god. This whole thing was just another scam? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you something to laugh about. <laughs> I mean, this is like, Meg is just doing the classic uh, Russian thing of reporting on your uh, family members and uh, <laughs> neighbors for being not Z enough, which is uh, actually being used a lot of the times as means of personal revenge. And this has been the case in like the Stalin times back in the 30s or whatever when people were reporting each other, basically for personal reasons a lot of the time, and uh, then KVZ, when they came for you, they didn't care if you actually committed those acts or not, they would fuck your ass. And I wouldn't exactly say that Russia in 2023 is much different, so... Meg is doing the 1000 IQ move right here. What the- Oh no! The <laughs> Russian police when a 13-year-old says he doesn't like putting online, by the way. Damn. Stop, Meg, stop. You're like, he's already gonna be in prison for like 30 years. Don't make it worse. Jesus Christ. Sorry guys, is that Z? Is singing the Russian anthem Z? I don't know, I like it. I still like the Russian anthem, okay? Can I like something about Russia? Can you give me that? 
For fuck's sake. Anyways, guys, yeah. <laughs> that is pretty much it. And uh, what do I have to say? I was actually decently surprised, to be honest. I thought the satire about, you know, the political persecution and censorship in Russia was pretty decent. They poked fun at both Russia and America. And overall, what I'm feeling right now is that, like, either I should start watching Family Guy or maybe Family Guy should do, like, an entire spin-off show where it just takes place in Russia. Now, I would watch the shit out of that. Give me to voice the character as well. Please. That would be the best. <laughs> I mean, who knows, guys? Maybe the reason why the, uh... <laughs> The creators of Family Guy shows Chilabins for this episode is because of my videos and because of how much of a, you know, cultural promotion I've done for Chilabinsk over the years and how I put Chilabinsk on the map. It's just, it's me, guys. Yes. I am the reason why they put Chilabinsk in this episode. So, uh, guilty as charged. But anyways, guys, on a serious note, though, I hope you guys did enjoy watching today's video. If you guys did, then please make sure to slap the like on it. Once again, you can support this channel if you go to the link down in the description and become a YouTube member. You can also do a super thanks underneath this video. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one peace